coming up on Wab TV. Hey, isn't this getting kind of boring now? Yeah, I guess so. Coming up on Wab TV, season 18, episode 3. Panda books of Mr. B, cultural diversity. Dress up Friday, start your prepping. Is a one a kind of weapon? Visiting artist paints of red. But first, Panda Books with Mr. B. Hello, 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 little pa Hi, don't forget we have this year's Panda Book Awards. All the lists are here for younger readers on the blue bookmark and for the middle readers on the red bookmark. So don't forget to come down, borrow a Panda Book. Remember, only one per person. And when you finish it, bring it back because so many people want to read them. Um, I hope you enjoy them. Panda Book Awards 2017-2018. Don't forget to vote later. You're watching Wab TV, the show with more information than Wikipedia and more laughs than a funny cat's video. Last week was Wab's celebration of diversity, and there were lots of events taking place to celebrate our diversity. One of these events was the visit of Mexican artist Paula Ibarra. Diane, Amanda, and Alice chatted with Paula to find a bit more about her and her art. Now, where are those Funny Cats videos? For the celebration of Diversity Week, WAV community participated in an art project. Hi, Paula. Can I ask you some questions? Why do you want to be an artist? So I decided to be an artist because since I was your age, I realized that I have the ability of doing things with my hands and I really like the colors and the materials. And then when I got older, I tried different things, but where I felt more happy was when I was creating things. Where do you get your inspiration for your artwork? I like materials, I like, thing, I like creating things, and I also like working with people. So in my last years, I have been doing projects where I can work with people, and I can share the creative process and share the final result. So that inspires me to do my art. Where did you come up with the idea of using tape as an art? Because when you work with a lot of people, it's difficult to find a material that at the end looks is clean to use it and also looks good at the end. So this material is my favorite material right now because it's very easy to use, it's clean. So this is a good material to, to use when we have rules. Thank you, Paula. I wish you have a great time at WAS. I am having a great time, as always, in this amazing school. And I'm Portia. Hey Portia, what are you going to dress up as on Friday? Well, I was going to come as one of the seven drops, but then I realized I was short of a costume. Haha, <laughs> good fun. So, what did you decide? Uh, so then I thought, I know, I should be a vampire. But then I thought, nah, vampire sucks. So, what did you decide in the end? I'm not sure. Do you have any ideas? 
How about a potato? A potato? How tasteless. What about a teacher? A teacher with no class? That sounds about right. Well, at least I have until Friday to think of something. Here's Justin and Vanessa to tell us more. You could come as a broken pencil. A broken pencil? That's pointless. You guys might remember, Justin loves to dress up. I'm playing dress up with these clothes. So he's really happy about this Friday. Ta-da! Because it's Fancy Dress Friday. This Friday is Fancy Dress Friday. All elementary school students are encouraged to dress up in a fun costume, come as your favorite superhero, character, or create your own outfit. Prizes will be handed out at lunchtime for the most creative costume, the funniest costume, and the best teacher's costumes. You are not allowed to bring any weapons, masks that cover your face. So Justin, you really like Iron Man. Who's Iron Man? Your costume. I thought it was a robot. See you Friday. Hey Portia, what's your favorite thing about WAB? Um, my favorite thing about WAB, definitely the culture diversity and the teachers. Right, so your favorite thing about WAB is the cultural diversity and the teachers. Anything else? No, just the culture diversity and the teachers and the resources. We have more apples than the orchard. Right, so the cultural diversity, the teachers, and the resources. They're your favorite things about WAB. Yep, those are definitely my favorite things about WAB. The diversity, the teachers, and the resources. Right, are you sure? Nothing else? Yep, that's it. Great. And the buildings, they're blue ones, they're red ones. Let's just agree that there are lots of cool things about WAB and go find out what you think is the best thing about being international. Since this week is celebration of Diversity Week, we want to find out what diversity means to you. Let's go check it out. What does diversity mean to you? It means like international and like different people from other places. The best part is enjoying everybody's differences. Lots and lots of culture, being exposed to different uh, people. Different beliefs. Where you are from, what, um, where you come from and what you believe in. It's how people are, are different. It means international. It's difference between groups of people. Oh, that's a great question. I think the best part of being international is experiencing a new country. It's because you can take whatever you want to school. Oh. I mean that... Yes, I can see the bigger world and I can see more people and uh, different kind of people. I think it's the uh, best thing. I have a cold. Can we go back to the studio? Back to the studio! Time now for this week's reminders. Fancy Dress Friday is on... What day is it? What day is what? Fancy Dress Friday. Um, I think it's on Thursday. Thanks. Fancy Dress Friday is this Thursday. Hi, Arm. It's on Friday, isn't it? Well then, you. Thanks. Great 4 or 5 football continues at lunchtime all this week. That's it for this week. So until next time, I'm Judy. I'm Portia. I'm May. And you've just watched... Season 18, episode 3 of the one and only WAP TV! We're not the BBC. We're not your MTV. We're not the Take over the world! Ha 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 ha!